Hi, last time we used the BIM workbench to create the exterior to our building. This time we are focusing on the indoor walls as well as the slanted ceiling that we have in the middle of the house. Let's get going. So when we created the walls, windows and doors, I actually forgot one of the windows last time. So let's just add it uh, there first. Also, I managed to screw up the audio later on in the video, so I'm doing a complete voiceover here. But I'm using a new microphone as well, so I hope the audio quality will be much better from now on. Okay, enough of that. Let's create the two main walls that will separate the building into three parts. Two parts with uh, bedrooms and bathrooms, and the middle part containing the living room and the kitchen. We'll do that by creating a sketch and simply drawing two lines for the walls. I realized quickly that my inner walls are extending all the way up to the exterior. So I had to adjust the sketch to inset the walls a bit. One other way would be to use the outer wall sketch as the reference. As long as you have already created all the windows and make sure that you will not be using uh, or making any changes to, to that sketch later on. Let's exit the sketch and use the wall tool to extrude the walls. And let's make sure that the height of the walls is higher than the topmost part of our inner ceiling. Exactly how tall that would be is maybe hard to judge before actually creating the ceiling. So maybe we should just do that first. Let's create a new sketch and draw a simple rectangle over the two inner walls. And we'll select the roof tool just like we did in the last episode. This time we'll use 18 degrees as the angle because that is what my ceiling is according to the drawings. We'll adjust the placement to two and a half meters. And then select the ceiling and the wall and press the minus button to cut the walls like this. After some inspecting it looks like we calculated something incorrectly because the wall is in front of the door here. So let's adjust the wall sketch a bit. Let's also add ceilings to the left and right side. Uh, we'll do this just by creating simple rectangular sketches and padding them. We'll modify the placement to two and a half meters just like we did with the middle ceiling. Time to create a sketch for the inner walls. Here I made the same mistake as before and I drew the inner walls up to the exterior wall. This is something I will be correcting later on. And here I actually forgot how the wall even looks like. It needs to have an angle for the entrances to the bedroom and the bathroom. And here we have a sudden change in my voice because it is no longer the day after some uh, heavy drinking, let's say. It's time to close the sketch and uh, extrude the walls. And then get on to the other side of the building and create the rooms there as well. We'll close the sketch and see how we did. Let's unhide the outer walls and the roof and see if everything lines up. We can play with the transparency settings of the ceiling and the roof to get a better view of the whole house. It's pretty hard to get into the rooms right now because we don't have any openings or doors 
in the walls. So let's start adding them. And we do that by adding additional points to the sketches and then uh, use them as reference points. Just like we did with the windows and doors on the exterior. But actually the correct way of doing this in my case would have been to draw a triangle and then extrude it and then use the minus button to get a angled opening in this particular case rather than creating a uh, door shaped opening. But this will do for now. I might change this later on. And now we'll just keep on adding doors. Here I realized that the wardrobe size is completely wrong, so I'll correct that. Something interesting happened when we tried to add the door here in the wardrobe. It adds an additional half a door on the other wall. So this seems to be a bug in the way the door function works. Rather than just padding a certain distance, it seems to pad uh, through all, which you can do in, in the part design workbench at least. So I think what we need to do here is to split up the walls into different sketches and uh, do the rooms separately. Let's try that again and uh, let's also add an actual door rather than just an opening. And let's add another sketch for the two remaining rooms. Let's adjust the orientation of how the doors are hinged. And we also need an opening to that side of the house. Like that. A wall separating the hallway from the kitchen needs to be added as well. This wall needs to go all the way up to the slanted inner ceiling. So we need to make it uh, pretty tall and then uh, use the minus boolean operation together with the ceiling to uh, form it. Just like that. Let's unhide everything and see how it looks. Not too bad. This is the completed house. But as we can see, the inner walls are sticking out uh, on the side here, uh, which I mentioned earlier. This is easily fixed by simply adjusting the inner walls not to touch the outer edge of the exterior. So I have a couple of uses for this model. Uh, one is uh, that it's useful for my sauna build whenever I get to that, if ever. <laughs> and then uh, the other one is uh, to use at least as a placeholder in a game that I'm working on. Um, so let's export this to a mesh and uh, put it in the game. 
I'm not going to go into great details uh, regarding the mesh. I'm simply going into the mesh workbench and uh, selecting all the elements that I want to export and then choose the most coarse uh, generation that I can uh, select to create as few polygons as possible. Uh, for games, I don't think this is the proper way to, to go about it. I don't think the mesh that is being generated is uh, suitable for games really, but uh, that's not important for me at this point. As you may or may not see, we are currently in Blender doing some UV mapping to get the correct colors on the polygons before importing it into our game. The inside of the house sure looks interesting before we have colored it. So here we have the house, let's put it in the game and see how it looks. We'll get a nice overview shot of the town. And there's the house. Let's go see how it looks like. Never mind the guy, he's a bit weird. Yeah, go in. Go on. There's nothing dangerous in there. There you go. The guy is inspecting everything. That's good. If you want to see me work on this game, please let me know. Maybe you should put your inspection mode on. There you go. Does everything look all right? He doesn't say much. Yeah, he seems happy. Okay, that's it for today. See you later. Bye-bye.